This is Go With Buffalo. I'm Doug Roxburgh, and I just keep dreaming about the day when the most northern football game comes to Fort McMurray. And it only happens in a couple of days' time as the Edmonton Eskimos take on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders right here at Shell Place. And it's just happening just outside these walls, but inside these walls. Well, there's a special announcement from the Fort McMurray Public Library, or is it called that? We don't know. But what we do know is that Jordan Foy is roping some cattle at the rodeo. Back at the Fort McMurray Public Library, but it's not called that anymore. It's actually called something else as of now. Melissa Flett, acting director of the new Wood Buffalo Regional Library. That's that's right, isn't that's it? That's correct, yeah. That's our new name. Brand new name, and that was just announced today. That's right. Okay, so why is this change being made? Uh, we have changed our name to Wood Buffalo Regional Library to reflect our municipality so that we can be a library for everybody, not just Fort McMurray, but for all of our rural communities. And that's important because there's now wings in Anzac and other regional places too as well, right? Right, we're hoping to exp expand and have permanent presence in all of our rural communities. Uh, we do do programming right now in all the pro in all our rural communities, but we're, we want to have like actual library branches eventually. And this is extremely important for the library yes. as a whole for Web Buffalo because this is the Web Buffalo region, right? That's right, yes. Okay, well, Melissa, thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to talk with about some new programming happening at the library in just a little bit, but just across the parking lot, Shell Place is so very close to being completed. Back at the Wood Buffalo Regional Library with Nicole Gravel in charge of some of the unique programming that's happening at the Regional Library. What's happening? So um, this year we have, are excited to announce some of our Aboriginal programming um, in collaboration with the Métis Local 1935. So we have a four-part Aboriginal speaker series which is meant to sort of just engage adults and um, teens, things like that, in culture and stories of our community. And then we also have the um, Elder Story Time, which is exciting. Um, it's also in collaboration with the Métis Local and it's about bringing in elders to promote our culture, our stories, our histories and traditions here within the Wood Buffalo region. So the last one we had was with Elder Ernie Michael oh, wow. um, and so he got to talk about hunting and trapping and really living off the land in, in the past in Wood Buffalo. So. And you know that's something we were fortunate enough to learn about uh, a lot of the local trappers and what they did yeah. and the elders, uh, basically what they did at uh, Métis Days exactly. here in town. So I mean it's a pretty unique experience that a lot of people get to to get to sure. feel out, right? Um, I mean, I think that we always kind of forget about these ones, especially when we have a lot going on in our community um, in regards to industry and just a lot of events. So we forget sort of our roots and our cultures and how we got to be here today. So I'm really excited to bring all of that programming forth and really create something new and meaningful for our community. And meaningful it will be. Also, Perfect. something that's meaningful is, well, there is a football game happening just across yes. the parking lot in just a few days' time. And there are some Edmonton Eskimos coming to town. Did you know that? Ah, of course I did. Yeah, <laughs> we know all about that. <laughs> well, these Eskimos don't just play football as they help kick hunger. That wraps up another edition of Go With Buffalo. I'm just reading up on all my northern kickoff knowledge as the Edmonton Eskimos prepare for their match against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in the most northern CFL game in league history and it's happening right here at Shell Place. But I encourage you to do the same as I'm doing and learn about the northern kickoff right here at the Wood Buffalo Regional Library. I'm Doug Roxburgh and are you ready for some football?